Alright, let's analyze the problem and come up with a procedure which will lead us to the solution. So the first thing that we realize is that we are dealing with strings. And we are being specifically asked to modify one of the strings. And in Java and C-sharp, strings are immutable. We cannot change them. So to go around that, what we're going to be using is arrays. So we're going to convert every single string. We have two strings, the filter and the string itself. We're going to be converting them to their array equivalents, holding the characters within the string. So that array will represent this string, and it will contain all the characters of that string in their order, in the order that they appear in the string, and so will this array. So now we have two arrays, and we're going to be dealing with two arrays. So the first thing you need to do in examining a big problem is dividing it into small problems. And we realize here that we have two steps to the problem. The first one is to determine which character to delete. So we have to delete specific characters from a string, a given string. And now we know that we're going to be dealing with an array. And we need to first determine which characters, suppose it would be that character and this character, that we have to remove. So this is the first step. And the second step would be to perform the deletion. So we have these two steps, and we want to optimize these two steps, make them as efficient as possible. So the first thing we're going to be examining is examine the second step, the deletion step. Now, how are we going to delete a character? Suppose we've already determined that a specific character, say this one, needs to be deleted. How are we going to delete it? Now, we're dealing with an array. One of the most obvious approaches would be to basically move all the characters. Suppose we wanted to remove this character, then we would shift all the characters to its right, shift them left by one step, and effectively what we would have done is remove this, because this character would replace the one we want to delete, and that one would come here, and that one would come right here. So essentially, we've removed that character. But this is really not efficient. In the worst case scenario, suppose you had a filter, which was exactly the same thing as a string, and that means you have to remove every single character in a string, so you have to remove the entire string, then the number of shifts you will be performing is as follows. So you're going to have to remove that first character, meaning you have to shift all of these characters left one step. So this is n minus 1 assuming we have n characters. And then you have to remove this character, the second character, which will be here at that point. And then you're going to have to remove, we're going to have characters up to this point, after we remove the first one. And then you're going to have to shift n minus 2 times, and so on and so forth. And this actually gives you an algorithm big O of n squared. And this is really, really not efficient. And on top of that, you're going to have to keep track of a length, because how are you going to know the, the array has a fixed size? And then at the end, you want to convert your result to a string. How are you going to know where to end? Where does your array end in terms of holding the strings for the output? So you're going to have to keep track of the length on top of that. So this is an approach, but it is really not efficient. A more efficient approach would be to use a string buffer. So let me just delete all of that here. A string buffer would hold the characters that, would, that, are, that are not to be deleted. So what we're going to do... There is what we call a string buffer in Java and, and C Sharp. So this, suppose this was our array string, and we were examining every single character, and then we, and we determined that this character must not be deleted. So what we're going to do is we're just going to append it to that string buffer. So it's a buffer. We allocate new space to it, and then we're just going to append it to that buffer. And then suppose we determine this one needs to be deleted. We're not going to append it. Move on to the next one. This one needs to be deleted. And it doesn't need to be deleted, sorry. So what you need to do is to append it to that buffer. And so on and so forth. At the end, you will have all the characters not to be deleted in that buffer. You can convert that buffer to a string, and it will be your output. Now, this is uh, one way to do it. And this is a big O of n, because you're going to be looking at every single character once. Uh, and, uh, and in a worst case scenario, you'll be performing one step for every single uh, for every single character, meaning you will be appending it once. Suppose you don't have to delete any of the characters, so you'll be appending them all of them to the string right here, to the buffer, and then converting it to a string. But the problem with this is that you're introducing this overhead. There's an overhead right here. You are creating, uh, you are allocating new memory for that buffer, and uh, this, this also involves a time overhead because you're performing these copies. So you're copying characters onto a buffer and then from that buffer you're creating a string so these this this entire overhead we want to avoid it and we'll see a way how to avoid it